Water, they say, is life. The depletion of Lake Chad attributed to climate change is in no small measure affecting survival and habitation around the water body. The environment is said to be a common heritage without which no life is possible. Therefore, audit on Lake Chad has thrown open dire effects of the drying up of the water body on the environment and its impact on survival. The environment is not just for us, it's for posterity, it's for the future, it's for our children and uh, for our grandchildren. What do people live from? They live from fish, agriculture, and all this needs water. Fishing, agriculture need water. And if you don't have fish, if you don't have agriculture, um, then people will have be forced to move into big cities. Then you, you will have uh, conflicts because of migrations maybe. Cooperative environmental audit projects on River Niger is also in the offing. There's a lot of navigation activities, so it's very relevant and very important, even in terms of agriculture. So uh, we looked at it and said we don't want to stay back and wait and watch and see what happened to Lake Chad, happen also to River Niger. Declaring the meeting open, Minister of Environment represented by Bankole Phillips called for sustainable environment management in line with the agreement reached at the Paris Conference on Climate Change as well as the Sustainable Development Goals. Land degradation, desertification, deforestation, loss of biodiversity, flooding and other environmental disasters are of great concern that affects our own very life. The reports of the or the general for the foundation should be taken seriously so that corrections will be made. For many years, the obvious report of the general has not been considered. The meeting, which is the sixth since inception, is themed working together for a sustainable environment in Africa and brings together audit institutions on the continent to engage in a week-long dialogue on environmental issues. Nabuja, Lekating Baba Tunde, NTA News.